welcome to the plus add-ons tutorial today i'm gonna demonstrate you creative images element first of all there are two options creative image and scroll reveal image you can select the image from choose image section then you can select select the image size then you have option for the alignment left center and right you can put the link on the image as well let's go to the style tab there are various options uh, first of all we have a super parallax option if you turn it on you will effect on a scroll you can see the image is moving when you scroll it's going left to right you can adjust the magic scroll effect and then you have a mouse move parallax option which is already turned on and you can see when you hover on that you can see the parallax effect even you have the options for the vertical and horizontal distance based on the hover then you will have a magic scroll option there will be offset and duration option it have the initial position options and the final position options you can watch more about magic scroll on our separate video then you will have a tooltip option over here from there you can select the simple text or the text editor where you can use the html as well then you have the alignment options, the typography options of tooltip content, and there will be a text color. You have all the options related to tooltip tool styling, position, theme, offset, distance, arrow, animation, and everything. Then you have the styling option of tooltip, the background color, background, you can choose the classic or the gradient one. You have the border option border radius you also have the box head option so there are pretty all everything of tooltip is available here then you have the option for the tilt 3d parallax again you have the options for the scaling the speed and everything here it will affect something like this when you hover on that it will it will scale up and you can see like this this one is the normal scale position so you can manage everything from here you have all the options then you will have a overlay special effect option in which this kind of two color layer option and which will be based on the scroll when you first reach to there it will effect like as shown then you have the continuous animation option there are various options pulse floating tossing and rotating you can choose as per your needs there is one another option it's a hover animation when you turn it on it will take place only on the hover and when you turn it off it will be a continuous effect you also have the duration time option over here then there is the css filter option which is available for the normal and for the hover position like for example if you have the blur value zero the brightness the contrast you can manage everything saturation and on hover if you want to make it a blur and a bit darker brightness and some other options you can do something let me turn off the continuous animation so you can see properly to get the effect so you can get this kind of effect using the css filter you also have the responsive visibility option so you can turn it on or off in the different devices 
right then you have the on scroll view animation and there are these things available and you can see all the demos on the link in the description below if you have any questions write us on the comment box below hope you have enjoyed it this tutorial on creative images subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this do check all the related links in the description below thanks for watching and keep crafting amazing websites see you in the next video